Hey guys, it's Tech in Arizona here. It's been about a year since I posted anything worthwhile anyways. So this is just a little bit of an update. I haven't really been metal detecting in probably close to four months. I thought I could get a AT Pro within like two or three weeks if I sold both my aces. And I sold both of them, got 350 or $375 for Ace-250 and 350 and my money started to run away, so to speak. Don't trust me with money, guys. But I'm still using the BH, the Bounty Hunter Challenger at this moment in time. I think I'm going to go out sometime this weekend. So here's a couple things I've gotten over the past mm, six months. Some are gifts, some were trades, like that's a trade. Pretty much everything else was given to me, except for a couple of things. I'll start off with the Canadian notes. Friend from Canada sent me a one dollar note and the two dollar note. This one's from um 1986. I don't know if you can read that. But they're going to really toss these at the bank, send them back to the mint to be destroyed. Because of them, um, they're uh, going back to. Well, they are minting polyester bills. Let's see if I can find mine real quick. Like these plastic bills. I don't know if you can see that purple line across his face. It's weird. Yeah. On the back is the Canadian space program. It's pretty cool. But yeah, all of these are getting switched out for different polyester notes. Um, as far as I know, they're not accepting any paper notes anymore. They're only polyester or plastic bills. So, won't be long till other countries follow. I think either China or Japan has already done this. So, people are hoarding these paper bills, hoping they'll be worth thousands of dollars within 10 years, but they're not, in my opinion, unless they're super old, like 1920s, but I doubt it. Um, the same guy that sent me all these bills, um, sent me this Canadian silver half dollar, 1952 wide date. Pretty good condition, I think, anyways. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. Found it metal detecting. Um, so there's those a friend in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Do I remember to say that? Um, sent me two 1936 Buffalo nickels. Don't know how well you're gonna be able to see those. They're about the same condition for both of them. Um, won this in a contest last year, 1940. I can't remember if it's a 42 or 45. I have to look. Uh, 1942 Mercury died. It's in pretty good conditions. I haven't really been trying to touch it that much. I'm getting ready to put in a, a holder like one of these that I got. 
about two weeks, two or three weeks ago. Um, talked to a local coin collector, and he sent me a couple of um, a couple coins. He sent me two proofs, a 1981s um, K half dollar proof. And a 1970, did I say 71 for this one? 1981. 1971, that's proof. And he also sent me a half dollar, a Franklin half dollar, 1962. 62. with the bell on the back. You can still see the crack on it. Yeah, that's um that's what he sent me as a gift. My uncle sent sent me um or gave me this fifty cent or fifty pound I don't know um Australian money. But Austrian Australian coin. It's pretty cool. Got kangaroos and I think um, a flamingo on it or something. I can't remember what the bird is. I don't think it's a flamingo. If you know what that bird is, let me know in the comments section. Comments section. <coughs> Long day, and um, I go to Coin Star every so often, check the spit outs, and I look up at the Coin Star, like above my head, and there's I can see the edge of a coin like like that just sticking over the edge. I'm like, huh? I wonder if people put rejects up there. Got about 15 regular memorials or the acorn shields, the shield memorials. Um, on top of those two um, Austrian coins, or not Austrian, Italian pennies. Um, one was a single um, Italian penny. I will let you be able to see that. One. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in the video. And a two a two cent euro coin with the single. This one's a 2002. That's a 2009. Two thousand and nine or two thousand three. I also got a Brit British one cent or one pence, whatever they call it, one penny. So check top of coin stars. You never know what people are going to put up there. My dad was. Most of you know if you're like my friend on Facebook. My dad works on old cars. And I think it was like four weeks ago or two weeks ago, he found a 1925 S wheat penny in pretty good condition. It's got a couple scratches from him trying to get it out because it was stuck in there. And there's a little bit of a rust spot right there where the light's changing on the vest. But it's in pretty good condition. Still see a lot of detail on the vest, but it's got a little bit of a scratch. That's pretty cool. My friend on uh, Facebook said in the 2015 Red Book, it's like minimum nine dollars. So that's pretty cool. My dad found that, and I got this in change at a 
Food City. It's a Mexican store. It's a 2011 S quarter clad proof. So you know some kid went through his parents' coin collection. One guy sold at Food City or stole the coins. Still got the shine. Over here, I got the 1876 original Budweiser by C. Conrad and Co. Budweiser, original Budweiser. It's huge. It's three and a half inches or three inches across. Or the diameter is three inches. I think that's how you call it. What you say? It's about either eleven inches or twelve inches tall. That's super clean. I got this um in a trade fr from a guy in um uh, Safford, Arizona. He found him in the wall of a house he is tearing down and I traded about 500 wheat pennies and a couple silver coins for this now in this size the company only made it in 1876 is what he told me that's really all I can find out about it but most time when you see these they're um, all cloudy from that being found like in a bottle dump or a, a privy. This one's super clean. And um, for night hunting, I got this little cheapo little um, LED light. It's got two modes or three modes, three lights, nine lights, and then SOS lights. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. One of my friends went to the Mel Fisher Museum in um, Melbourne, Florida. Or this one says Sebastian. I think it's either Sebastian or Melbourne. Got me this little silver replica of the coins that were found on the wreck of the Atocha Atocha wreck. This was made from a silver bar that they found on the wreck or in the I'm trying to remember what it's called um the scatter field I think That's real silver. And he sent me a chain with it later on. Pretty cool. Came with a certificate of authentic authentication. Serial number 315. A little bit of a history on the wreck. Shows a picture of the silver bar it was made from. And I also got a couple new knives, pocket knives. Some of you know I collect pocket knives. Um, this is like what, um, what the special forces use. It's um, really thick steel. It's about a quarter of an inch. It's got a really nasty blade on it. Super sharp. Also got double lock where you have to flick this down or hold it down, then do the thumb latch. So double safety. That's pretty cool. If you want to get this new, you get from um, CRKT website. I think 
that's where my dad got it. Um, sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the stop recording button. Um, CRKT website. They're about 50, 60 bucks, but they're pretty cool. Also, my dad got me this. Another knife. It's pretty nice. CRKT. Nice knife. It's really sharp. Can't tell if you can read that. Not. It says Homer Free Range. Really nice knife, it fits good in my hands. Again, this is about 50 60 bucks, I think. It's been a while since I checked their website out, so it might have, they might have stopped making or selling them, and or uh, the price might have gone down or up. And also, if you guys um, visit my own. Um, Facebook page is called Detecting Arizona and Antiques. Um, I just became a member of the Phoenix Antiques Club in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix Antiques Bottles and Collectibles Club, PABCC. Our 43rd year. It's been around for 43 years. I'm officially, I believe, I'm the youngest member of the club being age 16. They got some cool stuff. So I'm meeting once a month except for July and August. People show their collections once a month. What they found. Some five things you might not have known about antiques. Pretty cool stuff. The yearly membership's about twenty-five dollars, which I think is pretty cheap. But, hey, what I know. In the next video, I'm, I'm going to be doing the rest of my Arizona ball collection and some other stuff. I'm probably going to be getting in the next week or two from buying and selling stuff. Um, links to my uh, eBay, eBay page, PayPal page or account info um, my Facebook page will be down in the description and that's about it talk to you later guys peace out